All right, it's paint time. So, uh, got everything all set up here. We're gonna prime everything first with, uh, this is Omni Epoxy. And uh, it gets mixed two to one, so we're gonna go ahead and mix that up now. So, uh, let's see. There's the two to one range. And this is one of the things I'm not good at is knowing exactly how much I need to mix. So, I might have to remix it. I'm gonna mix. I'm going to go to the three line, and it uses the 175, MP175 catalyst. So I went to the three there, I'm going to go to the three here. Two to one. Probably going to need more than that. And we're using the uh, DeVilbus Finish Line 3. My regulator is messed up, so I'm going straight to the gun here. And I got the uh, regulator on the wall set to about 30, which hopefully is giving me about, about 27 PSI here. And it doesn't have to be perfect tonight for this stuff. So we'll go ahead and pour it up. BW Darren stock. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, get the camera positioned here and get the spray and the epoxy on there. coats of epoxy on everything and um, not going to do any high build just doing straight epoxy and then right to base coat um, body work really turned out good here um, you know I didn't really uh, do any a lot of work on this really I mean not that it was difficult because it was a pretty flush fit and all so uh, thought about you know filling that in right there and rounding it off and all but 
He looked okay like that. So I've got the uh, legs that I cut out of the uh, galvanized fence post in here. And then these guys are the uh, caps that go on the bottom of the legs, which are the tops that normally go on the top of the fence post. So, you know, we got some farm equipment, uh, stuff you'd find on a farm here, some old wood from a barn made the top, and some old trailer fenders, and some old fence posts. The only problem is none of it's old, it's all new. I went and looked for some pallets. I was thinking about doing this out of pallets, that Chevron design. There's a guy named, I think it's Beach Bum Living, that I got the idea for the Chevron top from. It's a YouTube channel. Check him out if you get a chance. He does a lot of cool stuff with uh, furniture and all, so check that out. But uh, anyway, when we get ready to spray, spray base, we'll come back and uh, show you that. Gonna let this uh, flash for about maybe 30, 45 minutes and uh, go from there. All right, using the Segola detail gun. And I got some, uh, I mixed some antique white and a little bit of a, a little bit of gray in there. And um, it's, it's now sort of a muddy looking, you know, really light gray uh, color. So uh, almost, I mean, even lighter than like dove gray. So uh, we'll see. film uh, spraying the clear coat but uh, we shot it with two coats of uh, PPG concept 2021 really nice stuff uh, went on good you know I didn't do a lot of cleaning up out here so it's got some dirt and trash and stuff in there not too bad but it's got some and uh, of course this is no wet sand no buff yet and I was hoping not to have to do that um, and I went a little dry on the on the sides because I did not want to get any runs on this. So it's got some dry spray in the sides, uh, not horrible, but you know it's got a little peel in it. I, I shouldn't say dry spray; it's more like just some peel. And um, I did not want to take a chance on running this thing. There's no runs anywhere on it, so that's a good thing. And I can stand a little bit of orange peel on the sides of it to put on the tops. So I hit it pretty wet, and I got it to flow out pretty good. See the specs of uh, the trash in there. I may run over the top so that with uh, 2000 grit and buff the, these uh, little areas that come out, but maybe I won't. All right, well, that's a wrap. I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded and uh, we'll uh, show you a quick video in the next couple of nights of the whole thing assembled and uh, we'll go from there.
Thanks everybody. Appreciate the comments and uh, suggestions and all the help. Thanks everybody.